Welcome to Small Point Broad Cove Blackhead Adams Cove. Population about 400, a small town with a big problem, water. Most every morning, Mike Hurley, the town's longtime maintenance man, starts his day by checking the wells. Okay. The town's water system consists of a series of wells, bringing water from deep underground to nearby houses through plastic pipes. Hurley does his best to keep the system running, but it's getting harder to stay a step ahead. You now some of them wells, they've been here for years, years and years long before I started here. And over the years, the water goes out of, the water just goes out of the well. And now then we went and got them fracked, and after we fracked them, we got arsenic in them. So now we had to go buy arsenic tanks. The water system, is, it's, all, it's all plastic lines going through here, right? And uh, we get a lot of leaks. It's frustrating when they're out of water and the kids got to get up in the morning and go to school and they got no water, but that's what we got to work with. Looming over that long list of problems is climate change, with the potential to bring new challenges or make existing problems worse, suddenly or eventually. Most of the town's water system was in the ground long before the current mayor was born. 28-year-old Brandon King grew up in Small Point, but whether a new generation can do the same depends on having a water system that works. Would it be fair to describe the system as it is as fragile? Mayor King? That's very accurate. It functions, and we put a lot of time and effort and energy into ensuring that it functions. But, you know, if a major breakdown were to occur, it would be beyond our capacity to, uh, to restore it, I believe. Some good luck came their way when a researcher offered to work with the town to study water security and climate adaptation. My name is Matthew Schumacher, and I'm a geoscientist specializing in hydrogeology and surficial geology. The way I would describe the water system in Small Point Adams Cove right now is that it is stressed. So the supply essentially for the groundwater comes from rain and there are a lot of wells in the system drawing and the, the system isn't able to recover fast enough. But now with climate change and the uncertainty about whether and how the water is available, that puts it even further stress on the system. What's described in the pages of Schumacher's report is happening before Mike Hurley's eyes. Right now, we cannot put no more people on the wells we got here. The wells is maxed out right now because you start adding people to it and what's going to happen? Everyone's going to be out of water because there's not enough water there to supply everybody. What does that mean for the future of the town and its ability to grow and attract new residents? This is a large deciding factor for a new resident. You know, you come in and you sit down with us and say, I'd like to build here. And we say, that's fantastic. And we go above and beyond to get your house built here. But we can't give you water right now. And we want to change that. About a third of people in Small Point Adams Cove have their own wells. The rest are on the town system. Some of the town wells supply a few dozen houses, some more than a hundred. So people's experiences with water here tend to vary, but the complaints tend to be the same. Not on town water now, but I know from experience from home, if you've got no water, you can't do anything. You can't wash, you can't clean, you can't bake, really, you, you really can't. The water around here is, it's not bad. And are you on the municipal water system? Yes, I am. Is it frustrating sometimes? Oh, very. I mean, it's, it's like anything. You know, availability, you don't know when it's going to be good, you don't know when it's going to be cut off. But that's part of the game, I guess. Sorry. I've been here 16 years now, and uh, I never get any more water. I'm running out of water, even with an artesian well. It's low. There's, there's not hardly any water pressure on times. There's just no water. The water table's depleting. The details are specific to Small Point Adams Cove, but the big picture looks familiar. Professor Kelly Vaden conducted a study of rural water systems throughout Newfoundland and Labrador back in 2014. Many of the issues she raised then are playing out in Small Point Adams Cove today. These communities are facing a range of challenges, and those add up together, they're cumulative and, and intersecting. Those include aging infrastructure and budgets that are basically do not allow for replacement of that infrastructure, particularly uh, on large scale. So often it's piecemeal improvements that are being made. 
it is somewhat discouraging to see the same issues still coming up, uh, you know, almost 10 years later. So we need to definitely need to keep working on it. Now, there are new issues to consider. Matthew Schumacher's report outlines several climate-related risks that could hit the water system in Small Point Adams Cove any time. A major storm could bring overland flooding and contaminate the wells from above, or knock out the power, leaving the well houses unable to function, risks that will seem more real after the devastation Hurricane Fiona brought to the west coast of Newfoundland. But the report also points to potential solutions. There is a nearby pond, a large and reliable source of water that could be tapped. But that's just the kind of large-scale project that a small town can't fund on its own. A permanent solution would be surface water acquisition. But that's not something we could ever do without the help of St. John's in Ottawa. It's, it's not going to happen. In the meantime, the town has applied for a much smaller grant to fix up the existing wells once again. You know. It's only small communities, and this council cannot afford to put good water systems in like we need. And we got to work with what we got. But who knows how long what they've got can keep working, or how long a small town can keep a big problem at bay. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, Small Point, Broad Cove, Blackhead, Adams Cove.